Welcome back. With South Africa continuing to experience rolling power cuts, it seems ESCOM's problems are increasing. A report of the World Nuclear Watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, has revealed that extending the life of Kuburg nuclear power station seems to be a futile exercise. The Kuburg Alliance says the IAEA report has revealed 14 safety issues with Kuburg nuclear plant. This as ESCOM tries to extend the life of the plant to contribute to the country's energy supply. For more on this, I'm joined now by a member of the Kuburg Alert Alliance, that's Mike Canty, who joins me now for that conversation. And Mike, so we know that ESCOM wants to extend the life of Kuburg uh, beyond its scheduled um, you know, end of life in 2024. Tell me a bit about this report by the IAEA. We should take everything the IAEA says about anything to do with nuclear quite seriously, should we not? Yeah, I imagine so, because they are, as the name suggests, the International um, Watchdog or Overview Committee for all uh, nuclear power station operations worldwide. It's a reputable body. It's part of the uh, United Nations structure. And as you can imagine, it's staffed by many scientists and engineers of a very high degree of knowledge. So we should take what they say reasonably seriously indeed. And, and, and in this instance, you say, um, just tell me about the work to try and get a, a, a glimpse of the work that they did. Uh, initially, this was not meant mm. to be released, was it? That's right. It took a prior application to get the document to be released. And I think that's one of the difficulties of this particular industry that it um, has a history of being reluctant to share knowledge which is vital for public information and for public safety because I think um, if we don't really know what's going on there's a tendency to mistrust the authorities and to wonder whether they're being level with us when it comes to the truth. So I think for me personally um, it's a great victory on the part of the Alliance to be able to get this report released and for us to be able to study it, not only as members of the Kuburg Alert Alliance, but quite a few of us who are advisors and consultants of equal high standing in knowledge and, and, and insight. And so once you started studying the report uh, of the International Atomic Energy Agency, you're saying that it highlights a number of concerns. Uh, in total, you say there are four. That's right. I think broadly, that one has to be what, quite circumspect. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's quite circumspect, and there are 15 points that are highlighted by the, um, the peer review committee, as they are, and these points are, are divided into mechanical issues, electrical issues, and civil issues. By civil, we mean structural, um, concrete issues, you know, and I think one of the difficulties with a particular nuclear power station such as Kuburg is with the concrete dome structures you can see on your screen, which are the last line of defense against any release of radioactive material. If those structures are cast in any doubt, then clearly we have a, a practical problem on our hands. Yeah, I sort of battled to, um, you know, grasp fully uh, the, the summaries that uh, you shared uh, of, the, of your reading of mm. the report, uh, because some of them mm. are a bit technical. But, you know, That's I right. know that alarm bells should ring when you talk about that containment dome uh, that we were showing a few minutes ago. But also there was an issue about a leakage that, if I read correctly, yes. has since stopped, but no one knows where it had started. Yes. Yeah, no, it's an interesting challenge because if you go back into the into the heart of the reactor itself, um, where the uranium is split and the energy is generated right inside the, the, the pressure vessel, that's the beginning of the problem. And then the dome is supposed to, I mean, the, the pressure vessel itself is supposed to seal um, all the radioactivity off. But unfortunately, because of the nature of the technology, radioactive um, neutrons, if you like, uh, neutrons themselves, will actually pass right through the walls and into the surrounding coolant water. And then it starts to become a problem when there's bad seals or bad wells. It's a very, very highly corrosive operation. And you can imagine that you cannot seal every possible escape route. 
Now, if radioactivity is detected inside the containment building, then trying to find where it's coming from must be a bit of a nightmare for the, for the technical chaps. What if um, a South African watching all of this in the coming days then hears from uh, Minister Gweda Mantashe, from uh, Dr. Tapelo Mochudi, um, and from Andre Dereta and Sikonati Manjanja and them that there's nothing to worry about, guys. Uh, naturally, a nuclear power station is a complex system. We're continually maintaining it. And as you know, we are in the middle of the upgrades that are needed at the moment. By 2024, all of this will be sorted out and will be good to go. After all, we've not had an incident, a major incident, and as far as nuclear is concerned, in over 50 years uh, of operating a nuclear power st station. What should a South African hearing yeah. that line of argument uh, believe? Yeah, no, it's a, very, it's a sound argument, but I think that the difficulty with the age of a particular reactor anywhere in the world, that you can imagine with the neutron bombardment taking place inside out, I mean, you think of an egg. If you look at it from the outside, you can peck at that egg and it won't disrupt. But a little baby chicken can peck from inside out. So the vulnerability is not outside. The vulnerability is more inside. And I think that unless there are people of high repute, such as the IAEA, coming and checking on these things, independently of national nuclear regulators, independently of the ESCOM authorities, if we don't have those people evaluating the safety and giving us safety assurance, all it does for me, it's not, about, it's not about panic, it's about raising a flag as to whether or not the authorities, A, are competent to judge uh, the difficulties that lie in extending the life of such a plant, and two, whether the truth that is uh, being revealed is in fact being shared with the public, because I think the public does have a right to know. It's enshrined in the Constitution. Yeah. And, and lastly, uh, Mike, um, one of the issues that you highlight that you've gleaned from the report has to do with the uh, independence. You mentioned the word independent in your last response. Um, Precisely. Independence of mm. the uh, National Nuclear Regulator. Um, and, and you go to some exactly. length in raising that. What is the issue here? I think you're looking at three stakeholders here. You're first of all, looking at the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is responsible for promoting nuclear power. Secondly, you have ESCOM, which is equally responsible for promoting nuclear power. And finally, you have the, the, well, not finally, you have the ministry under which the NNR falls. And the, NR, the National Nuclear Regulator reports to the minister, uh, Gwede Mantashe. And therefore, what's difficult for all of us is this, the business of the fox guarding the hen house. The very agencies and individuals and ministers that are responsible for public safety are themselves promoting nuclear power. So there's a contradiction here. And this is the contradiction involved with the civil society representative, Peter Becker, who's not allowed to sit in those meetings because he is questioning some of the legitimacy and some of the economics and health issues of nuclear power. So we don't have an, an independent authority or an independent voice testing out some of the truth of the statements that are being made. Yeah. All right. I've got to thank you for your time and your insights, uh, Mike Canty. Before you go, though, uh, the document itself, is it possible to share? Or were you, in terms of the PIA yes. um, uh, agreement, you only allowed no. to just make notes of it? No. If you go to the Kuburg Alert Alliance website, if you Google Kuburg Alert Alliance, you will find the document embedded in their release on Fantastic. this matter. Fantastic. I've got to thank you for your time. Mike Canty from the Kuburg Alert Alliance. So do yourself a favor. Inform yourself. Uh, read the document that they've shared. Uh, that is the result of a promotion of access to information act uh, application uh, that basically forced the release of the international atomic energy agency's report uh, that raises a number of issues so that you are well informed about the ongoing debate.